Okay, so right now I'm up to blushing and creases. Um, before I start on the blushing, I just want to go over and check the soles of the feet, the fingernails, just to make sure you don't have very much paint build up there. And I discovered on this hand I do have a little bit of paint build up that I don't want down here. It's just a little bit too dark and I have a few paint spots. So what I'm going to do is take some rubbing alcohol. Just dip a cotton bud in. You don't want it soaking wet so kind of squeeze it out on the side. Um, We'll start on the paint dot, which is just a tiny dot here. Um, just dab at it. Don't, if you rub, you'll end up taking off the paint that we put on in the first few layers. So we don't want that. It does take a little while sometimes, but you can just get it off by dabbing. And that one's gone already. There's another little one here. This is also the technique that I used on the lips, which I had forgotten to show you. So, with this, I don't want to take it all the way off, I just want to lighten it a little bit. So, just dab all over. Again, make sure you don't rub it because rubbing will get it off quicker, but it also takes all of it off. Whereas doing this this way, it kind of helps you blend it a little bit after the fact. So you just keep doing that until you're happy and on the fingernails the same thing just stab to get into the crease around the nail you can use a paintbrush as well. Just make sure your paintbrush isn't dripping wet. So this is the leftover colour from the tongue. It's a little bit too pink for the nail beds so I'm going to add just a tiny 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 bit of blue blue really is a colour that you only need a small amount of And then I'm going to add some aubergine.
so you can see that's a better nail colour. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of more water to that as well because over the past couple of days the water from the, the lip mixture evaporated a little bit. We don't want it too thin. Um, but you still don't want it so thick that it's going to look painted. I would normally use a filbert brush to paint the nails, a small one, but I can't find mine right now. So I'm just using one of the smaller brushes that I could find. Um, I just want a hint of colour on the nails, I don't want them to look um, thickly painted. So you want to leave a little bit of transparency. If you find that you think you've painted them too thick, you can either take it off with the rubbing alcohol or you can mix up a thin mixture of yellow and just go over them with the yellow once or twice and you'll find that yellow will um, give back that translucency. It also works the same on the lips, so if you think your lips are too painted, try that before you um, do anything drastic like stripping them. If you find you're getting a lot of paint build up in the creases around the nail you can use a toothpick or a liner brush and just wipe it out. And then just repeat that on the toes. 